Hi, how are you doing? My name is Sarah Thomas. I'm the Scotland Programme Coordinator for Wikimedia UK, and I'm going to tell you a little bit today about how to use Quick Statements. So Quick Statements is uh, looks like this, and it is a tool that we can use to bulk edit items or create new items in Wikidata. And why would we want to do this? Well, Manual editing of Wikidata is relatively simple, yeah? So if we wanted to, say, add something to this entry for the statue of Flora MacDonald on Castle Hill in Castle Wind and Inverness, we would go to, say, here we are at the instance of statements. It's an instance of an architectural structure and a monument. It doesn't actually say that it's a statue. So relatively simple thing to do. All we're going to go down here is click on Add Value, and then I start to type statue it brings up statue and then i click on publish so far so simple manual editing is really simple it's really easy but it's also quite slow now if i wanted to say add instance of statue to 100 items or a thousand items it's much easier to do it in a bulk upload and the way that we do that is by using quick statements so this is the data that I'm going to put into Wikidata today using quick statements. Uh, it is a number of memorials to women in Scotland, uh, specifically uh, in Inverness. So what I've done is firstly off to find a model item, this one here, the statue of Flora MacDonald, which contains all of the different statements, uh, so many of the, the statements that I want to use to put into Wikidata. What I first did then was to put all of these um, in a in a, in a workbook so that I had them for reference. And then I started to collect that data. So I've got the label, um, I've got the description, all of this has come from the website. Uh, I have who it is that it commemorates. I have her Wikidata QID if I need it. Um, I have the identifier for the mapping memorials ID because we have a specific identifier within Wikidata for using that. Uh, and I also have what it is an instance of, in this first case here, a commemorative plaque, and I also have the coordinate location. So when I put that all together to make an initial upload, it's going to look like this. So on the first line, we have create, and that's to tell quick statements that we want to create a new item. Underneath that, and the next one, we have last, and that's just to tell it to follow the line above. So in this one here, uh, this first example, um, these first ones uh, lines here all say last, and that's just to tell it to look at the line above. So we get to the new one that says create, and that's going to start as a new item. So L-E-N is short code for um, label in English. D-E-N is description in English. P8048 is the Women of Scotland Memorial ID. That's one that we created specifically for this project. P17 is country. P131 is located in the administrative territorial entity. And then if you have a look over here, we have S854 and then another text string in quotes. So S854 is a source. It's allowing me to put a reference in for this piece of information. And just like Wikipedia, we want to have references in Wikidata as well. So now I've got all of this in the in the, the, the right format. And as you can see, our text strings are in quotes. Um, and then we have queue numbers down here where we have queue numbers for other entities that exist in Wikidata. If you're thinking how on earth would I know if these are supposed to be text strings in quotes or queue numbers or P numbers, or how on earth would I know that S854 was reference URL, there's a couple of different ways to do this. One, you can look at your model item, but the other way and the thing that I found really, really useful is this page here. This is the quick statements help page on Wikidata. Um, it's pretty encyclopedic. It has almost all of the examples that you would need. Um, and I've spent quite a lot of time uh, uh, looking at that page um, to try and make sense of it. So we've got all our initial information into this format here. And what I'm going to do is just copy that. Now I'm going to head over back over to quick statements. I've got quick statements open in Firefox. I find that it works best in Firefox. Um, you can try it in other browsers just at the moment. It seems to be working best in Firefox. So this is quick statements. Looks really simple. I'm just going to go to log in. And you should remember that because this is a bulk upload tool, your account on Wikidata must be at least four days old, um, and it must have at least 50 edits before you can use um, this batch editing tool. So I'm going to click onto new batch, 
I'm going to click in here. I'm going to paste that information in. And you notice that I'm only taking one entry just now. That's because I want to make sure that I've done this right. If I've got any errors, it's going to show up now. And that's really important so that I don't enter in, say, hundreds entries um, and then find only after a little while that I've made an error. And then I'm going to click on Import V1 Commands. And this shows me here. Yep, there are no errors showing up. And then I click on Run. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. It's gone green. So we know that that one's been done. So I can head back over to my spreadsheet and scroll down. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to new batch. Just tell it to refresh. New batch. Enter into there. Import V1 commands. That all looks fine. Click on run. And there we go. Hopefully that's all going to go green. Go. Hey, fabulous. So now I've got these and, and now that has completely created those items. And if I go to my contributions page, our next step once we've created these items is to enrich them a little bit. So um, as we can see on this one here for stone plaque commemorating Catherine Duff that I've just created, if we scroll down here, uh, we have a, a, a label and we have a description um, and we have where it is, but we have two little errors, almost errors, little flags that have been thrown up here. So in Highland, it says here this, uh, this entity should have something um, that has a statement called instance of and this one here also says it should be an instance of an, some sort of architectural structure. And that's correct, um, just to, to make these items a little bit more useful. So the way that we do that in quick statements, now that we've created the items, what we have is a, a list of queue numbers, um, this list here. And what we're going to do for here is to add to each of those queue numbers, each of those items that we've just created, um, something for P31, which is instance of, and then the queue number that relates to that instance. So here we have a queue number for commemorative plaque, uh, one for street, one for stained glass window, baptismal font, for example, and, and et cetera. So I am going to copy just those first three columns. I'm going to go back into quick statements go to a new batch, paste that in, import those commands, and then run. While that does that in the background, I'm going to pop back over to commemorate or named after. So again, I've got on the left hand side there the queue number of the memorial. P547 uh, is commemorate and 138 is named after, just depends um, on what's more appropriate. And then the Q numbers on the right hand side are the Q numbers for the women who were commemorated. So again, I copy that, head over to quick statements, paste that in, run, and one last one. I want to put in coordinate location. Coordinate location is a little bit of an interesting one. There's a very particular way that Quick Statements wants it, and that's to have the at symbol um, at the front. And then instead of a comma, you've got a forward slash, and then it goes into the second set of the coordinate. All of that is explained in the Quick Statements help page. So once again, I will copy that piece of information. Head back over to Quick Statements. Paste that in. As we can see, that's coming up now as the correct format. Run in the background. And it will run that. And now if I go back to, so this is um, one of the items that we've created earlier. And if I refresh that page, we can see now that not only does it have new statements as its is statement for instance of road, it's named after Deirdre. Um, we have and we have it. So it's got the identifiers um, and that the it has the reference. If I just click on that. You can see that's the reference. So we've got a fully referenced item. It's got an identifier that links it out to external information and it is pretty much as complete as we can get it right now.